Here is BB Walker. Welcome back in another episode about the PSR 670. Today is the video about recording, USB recording, mixing with microphone and other things that you have asked for. Okay, so stop talking, let's go to work. At the beginning, I will show you my setup and things and back panel of this great instrument. So basically to recording on USB uh, pen drive memory stick, you need at least uh, two gigabytes or um, better, faster memory stick. Uh, here I get some basic Chinese memory stick, I don't know. Here is the USB port uh, that you can use to connect um, the Yamaha as a MIDI device or a, a USB audio device uh, to your computer. Here is a standard USB port to memory stick, uh, to flash drive, and here is to connect uh, to the computer, to host. To have a MIDI keyboard, and some one of you asked about this, so you use this standard BUSB cable to connect to computer. Here is the switch to uh, change the contrast of the um, uh, LCD screen uh, and here is the aux in it's a very important port today we will be using it it's a 3.5 millimeters mini jack stereo uh, here is big jack so 6.25 stereo phone output if you need the phone output so basically uh, speakers will be muted and here is the another uh, output I use the mono mini jack, but this is a stereo or mono. Right, left, on this one is stereo output also. And if you need to get the output, the analog output, and put from, for example, to the mixer, I will show you later. Okay, so then we get the sustain pedal. I get one sustain pedal, which is here. So uh, sustain pedal, standard, big jack, mono. And here is the power cord, you power switch, so you en actually enable power with the power supply. Power supply, 16 volts. Okay, so I disabled the device. Let's turn it on again. And, and now we will do a basic USB recording without microphone and other stuff. So the, the most basic uh, recording. So... We got the grand piano. I need to fix with this LCD screen. I like this one. It's much better for me and for the video purposes. Okay, so um, in the previous video we will talk about the MIDI recording. So it's a notation of the notes that you are playing with instrument saved to the MIDI file. Standard MIDI file. Today we will be recording using the USB uh, drive, which means digital recording, the whole performance with styles and things, and save to WAV file. What do you need to know to know about the WAV file, about recording to USB uh, WAV digital file? It's like an MP3 file, but without compression, so it's a good quality but you have any possibility to um, change this record later because it's a digital signal like you record on tape. Uh, okay, so to save the USB, you press this USB audio player. Of course, you need to have a USB drive in your USB socket. And the following screen which appears. Uh, this is a standard um, each time you record new song, the audio, audio 001, 002 your files will be saved on the USB drive. You can, of course, change those files later. You can browse those files using this file here. But um, now let's see how to record. So USB audio player, you are ready to record. If you press the record button, which is here, two up it says you that it is waiting now it's waiting for start recording and of course uh, if you are ready to start your performance because USB is actually used basically used in most cases if you are 
making a performance with microphone or without microphone, maybe with the guitar or any other instrument. But now let's see that I would like to save the song performance with piano. So if you are ready, this blinking uh, for button means play pause. You press it and now it's recording. Let's see. If you stop, you see that the file has been saved to audio 003 and this file is now um, stored. If you press play, you can listen to your performance. Okay, now I am in repeat mode. So I will be re repeating this all the time. Here to change the repeat mode, you press the seven second, go up and repeat mode set to off. If you had set the repeat mode to off, um, just press exit and play once. So this is basically how to save the uh, whole thing into USB drive. You can take this uh, USB drive to your computer and share the video, uh, sorry, the audio wherever you want. Okay, so this is basically how it works. Uh, you can play the whole uh, accompaniment, all knobs, effects, everything will be saved to this file exactly like you have performed it. So all the things, mistakes, everything will be recorded. This is not the MIDI, this is a whole digital record. Okay, and now let's uh, do some advancing things. Uh, let's take a look about my setup. Here is the U, uh, USB mixer, this Behringer mixer with preamps. And this cord is the uh, microphone, phantom power, phantom power is enabled. And those two ones, are the main output of the mixer and they are connected uh, of course as you have seen this mixer has a two big jack uh, output but our um, Yamaha has a aux in which I have had here 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 and here is my stereo mini jack output that I have used with those cable and this is the output actually of the mixer so I take the output of the mixer put it into Yamaha now we hear, hear some noise because the microphones are off the microphone is uh, condensed power oh my goodness sorry it's too loud <laughs> okay and so as you can hear now i am using this microphone and all the output is going through the yamaka uh, so okay uh, so this is actually the phantom power microphone condensed power i think we have too much too much levels I need to enable monitoring on the mixer. Yes, basically it's too too much of the gain on the microphone. So let's make it a little bit quiet. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, 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 one testing. One, two, three. Okay, now it's it's it it, it seems to be working good. Uh, there is a built-in compressor. And the Yamaha, so you can set up levels using the, uh, the, 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 the mixer. Here is the mixer, so you have a possibility to uh, set the levels of the styles, voice, and to change the levels of the aux in, you need to press USB audio player and uh, you get here the audio volume C 
So as you can see, you can change the audio volume. Okay, so <clears throat> let's forget about this old file. Stop, stop, stop. And now we will be using a recording with the microphone with the vocals. So let's try it. USB audio player, ready to do next song. <clears throat> and press record. Now we have waiting and blinking, exactly the same like in the previous, but now we have, we have connected the mixer, the microphone and the other instrument, of course, if you want. Okay, so... One, two, three, this is testing. One, two, three, this is testing. Okay, I think it's enough and let's hear how it sounds. One, two, three, this is testing. One, two, three, this is testing. Okay. Okay, so as you can hear, the quality of this uh, output is really good. The mixer is quite okay with the preamps and etc. Uh, but the digital, uh, analog to digital converters here, these DACs are pretty good quality in this wave and if I take it to the computer and check the uh, noise levels it's really impressive there is no additional noise this socket is really good quality so I really appreciate it and okay so and um, what do we have made here we get the input of uh, audio we can change the levels of this and if you want to make adjustments of the levels of the left, right and other, you can use this mixer button to change these levels. Okay, and you may ask, can I uh, insert the microphone here without the mixer? And the answer is yes, but you need to have a microphone with preamps. Because this line, this is line in, so the levels of the incoming signal uh, is not like the microphone input. In microphone input, there is usually 20 to 30 decibels of gain. Uh, but in line in, you get the standard line in levels, like in uh, digital players similar to the phone outputs, etc, etc. Uh, so, yes, you need to have a, like, like this Rode M3 uh, condensed microphone, it has a battery power inside, so without mixer and preamps, you can use a um, converter from XLR to mini, uh, mini jack stereo, and of course, you will be able to record with microphone and to this um, to this Yamaka uh, which I am impressed the most is the fact that this quality of this recording is really good so you can use it this Yamaha to record your performance uh, for example you don't have a Zoom H4 or any other device this dedicated recorder so you can use this Yamaha as a recorder uh, without computer, because computer have fans, computer have make some noise and you need to have appropriate software, etc. So if you are completely on the field, you get your band uh, with guitar, with microphones, two microphones or more. And you can simply set up the levels of all inputs in here. And again, I said it, using the mix out, you get the signal to Yamaha to record the any other performance uh, except the whole instrument so if you have a drummer you can connect all the microphones there on the mixers and here you make the the part of um, uh, the Yamaha uh, instrument grand piano accordion any other instrument that you are recording here so I think it's enough for this video. I show you my setup, how to record using the USB, um, how to listen it, USB audio player again, 
there is our old audio uh -huh, selected, so press play. One, two, three, this is testing. One, two, three, this is testing. Okay. You can press, of course, stop. You can use files to load another file. Let's see this previous file, audio free. Press enter, like you are selecting the midis. Uh, press exit, go back. And now you have selected audio 003. Press uh, play. And this is the first attempt of the recording. Okay, so I think it's all for now. If you have any questions more and more videos about something particular which was uh, said too fast or you don't understand some kind of things, just give me a comment. I promise I will answer or prepare a video especially for you. Thanks for watching. It was BB Walker Yamaka PSR S670 with Rode M3 condensed microphone and the Behringer Xenix Q802 USB audio mixer thanks for watching and see you later